Hey guys, what's up? Bernard Dash89 here, back with another video. Today I'm going to do an explanation and tutorial on this door here. Uh, so, it's got, it's a pretty simple door. It's not, it's it's very small though, it's very small, that's it. Uh, it works like this. It's, it's pretty slow, but it works. Um. Also, this is Armadillo 28's uh, 3x3 door. It's the smallest. Uh, it's the smallest observerless one. It's got a bunch of weird mine cards. Uh, I, I didn't really want to use any mine cards on this door just yet because this is like the very first draft of it, so I'll probably change like heaps of stuff on the bottom. Uh, yeah, but let's just get into the tutorial. So to start off, you just want your door frame to be 3x3 three three as usual, and the layout is just going to be two side pistons on each side, then you have three on the top, uh, just like that, uh, and then on the bottom you want your double extender, and then your storage block on the side there. So that's the layout, and your input... I'm, I'm like doing out of orange because that's my favorite color. Uh, you're gonna put your input there and you're gonna have an observer. This is to just one tick the side pistons as you saw there. Uh, yeah, it's just a one tick side pistons. You're gonna have redstone or just, yeah, just you're gonna have some dust running up here. And it's a bit different on here because you can't have dust running down onto this piston you can't have dust running down so you're just gonna have a piston there and an observer there which will have a block there and that's just basically how you activate the side pistons so it works just like that very good I just want to see yeah I was just checking something because this extends and I wasn't sure if that was like locationality or if it was going to be a problem but it doesn't seem to be and then we'll do this side first because uh, it's a lot more simple you want to have a, pis a observer coming down with a piston and another observer this is to one tick the pistons at the start because this this thing over here it doesn't do the first one tick that one ticks this block um, up and down again so you'll see if we uh, it does it just does that first one tick that you see here because none of this does the one tick um, yeah so on this side you wanna uh, no, you wanna have an observer down just like that and then a piston with another observer and I'm pretty sure it's yeah it's a four tick repeater here you want a note block now this is really it's a really old updater and then you want two observers here so I think that's the whole door built we'll just try it out Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and explain everything now, because I like doing explanations in my tutorial, sort of. Uh, we're going to, so this, this is your input. It comes up here, and in in 1.16, this, this door only works in 1.16, because in 1.16 you can now put dust on pistons. Uh, uh, you're going to have a dust coming down which activates this observer which uh, one ticks it one ticks these pistons out and that just did a weird thing uh, so that yeah it just it just one ticks those pistons out and then this comes down into an observer with a piston so this will extend once and then it'll extend back but the good thing about this is that it has enough delay so that when it extends back, it goes through this four tick. 
and it only gives a pulse on the when it comes back which is really useful and then this uh, note block is to update this or to uh, rather power this observer which activates this piston which does the well first this side this side will do the one tick and then this observer with the note block will do that and then I think it does a one tick again. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll just I want I'm gonna have a look at it and see how it works. Okay, okay. Now now I get it. So then this repeater will send that final pulse up and push it up. And then on the retraction, that's where this observer comes in. Now this is a really small amount of space. So this does the thing again where it pushes down and up. Uh, going through this, pushing, so first this will do the one tick, retracting it from here, and then uh, this will, the storage will pull in, but the really good thing about this is this will extend, but then because this has, this has an observer here, when the piston's at this point it will uh, power this block, which will extend this piston at this point doing the final doing the final retraction and that's a really small amount of space so yeah it's it's very tiny um so yeah uh, that should that should be it for this video it's a very small video about this door um i'll probably change a lot of stuff and then I might do an explanation and tutorial on a new one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, bye guys.